Allies just declared war on the U.S. The Georgians hit our communications, transportation, power grids. We still don't know how extensive the damage is. Your mission just became critical. You know what you need to do. Canceled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions has hindered Georgia's hopes of integration into Western institutions. Industry baron Kambain Nikolaj seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of days to affirm his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Bringing high-speed fiber optic connectivity to areas of Eastern Europe that less than a decade past didn't have telephones. The technological leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries in the Netherlands and especially Georgia, where President the vice president called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian president Kumbain Nikolads a man with his eyes on the future. That's quite a bit of a plot dump. So welcome to Splinter Cell. We're playing the utterly amazing and not 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 bad in any way uh, PS3 port of the game. And we're going to do a little training mission here after some more story. Sam Fisher. I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hello, Colonel. You can use my name. The room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine. And we'll be online through your earpiece and opsat. And that's how we're handling training. Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. All right, Sam, let's get started. Can you hear me clearly? Hi there. Good. That means the implanted speaker is working correctly. Now, the technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Great. Now the one on your right. Okay, same thing for pitch. Look for another light up in the rafters on the ceiling. Excellent. Now look for one on the ground in front of you. All right, Fisher. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge, over that pool. So we are not going to do that right now because there's a Easter egg to get. An Easter egg. What's wrong with me? 
So we come up here doing a fancy wall jump. Pop into this room real quick. There is a lockpick sitting over here. Now what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to do the training course, unlock a door at the end, get a code, and then come back through the training course and unlock a door up here. We're just going to skip all that. We're just going to unlock the door right now and then look at the code after because I know what the code is and because I don't want to backtrack through the training area. Just trying to save some time, streamline things. Who are you? You must be Sam Fisher. I'm Anne of Grimm's daughter. Pleased to meet you. Third echelon lead programmer. You've done your homework. Some of it. I'm still a little foggy on my OPSAT. The Operation Satellite Uplink. Basically just a multi-million tax dollar PDA. But it'll tally everything you'll need to know to complete your missions. So make sure you're comfortable with the interface. No need to introduce yourself. I've already got an earful of your history from Lambert. I'm not as mean as he says. On the contrary, the man thinks you should be canonized. <sighs> what? The Saint of Shady Causes? I don't know. How about the Saint of Well-Directed Sins? You were involved with Second Echelon, right? Yeah, briefly. I had some ideological differences. Like what? It didn't respect the human element. Hmm. Were you there for the burnout in 2000? Yeah. But I don't even have clearance to think about it. Good luck on the course. Good luck, even though she can't watch because the thing is down. Whatever. So a rare, in-the-flesh appearance of Grimm. Now, before we jump down, we need to talk about something. We need to talk about silently landing. So if you drop while crouched, you will silently land. If you drop while standing, you won't. But if you press crouch while falling, you will land silently. This is very important, because sometimes you need to drop down, and you cannot... You don't want to make noise. This is supposed to be a stealth game. So we're just going to kind of run through this really fast. We'll let you do your thing here. You're looking at your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it. Hey, don't tilt the stick all the way to not move too loudly. So a nice thing about this version of the game is they put quick saves in. This is a port of the PC version, so they better. Takes a bit. Yeah, you can also, you can also quick load. It'd be kind of weird if you could only do one. So most of the stuff in this tutorial is just pressing triangle under things to do something. Like you can use zip lines. And if you crouch on a zip line, you'll land silently when you drop off of it. So here the split jump, the instructions are actually wrong. You don't want to hold the button after you press it the second time. You just want to press it three times. So one, two, three, and then you do this. This is a very useful move that we're going to do constantly. Or maybe just once. I don't remember which. Yeah, so... Not, not a ton to say about this, this part of the game, because it's very straightforward. Just learning Sam's moves. They, they do show you pretty much everything you can do. But this game, Sam does have a pretty robust moveset. But most of it is just walking into things or pressing triangle. Or, or, or no, no, pressing L3 sometimes to put your back to a wall. So, of course, you could slide down ladders. It's kind of loud, though. If you don't want to do that, just don't tilt the stick all the way. Good job, Fisher. As soon as you can find a way over the gate, we'll move on to covert ops training. So we already did a wall jump. You just press triangle when you're at the wall, and then you'll jump off the wall. I think I'm going to use this, like, once. 
So we got the lock pick earlier, so we can open this door. So lock picking is just you move the stick either up, down, left, or right, and then when it starts to wiggle, you tap it. Since this is a port of the PC version, it's just up, down, left, and right, and then tapping. So in this game, there are lots of computers, so you can use them. And when you use a computer, you get a data stick. Now most of the time, the only thing important about data sticks is that they'll have, like, passcodes to get unlocked doors, like this one does. Also, there's, like, emails and stuff. Which you can pause if you want to read, we're just going to scroll through this. See, Grim is just not, not too sure about Sam here, but she'll believe it when she sees it, which she didn't, because the shutter was closed. Okay, so now that we have definitely learned how to press the triangle button, it is time to learn how to press the circle button. You're moving on into covert ops. The objective is to sneak through the area without being detected. We've got live bodies in there. Some of the top CIA instructors have kindly volunteered to be your victims. Okay, so in the lower right, there'll be icons, and they'll let you know, hey, you have new things to look at. Most of the time, you just need to look at your notes, which is where, like, passcodes will be stored. Because your objective will just be at the bottom of the screen if you stand still. So all throughout the training, there's these things. They just let you see the little tutorial pop-ups again. So when you open a door, if you scroll through the options, you can peek. Door peeking is completely useless because there's actually a gadget that lets you see on the other side of doors. So you never, ever need to do that. door is locked, Sam. You'll need to use your lock picks to get through it. Oh man, we sequence broke the tutorial. You already know how to do this. This is some pro speedrunning strats right here for Splinter Cell, you guys. This next door is keypad locked. The man guarding the door has the code to open it, but he's been instructed not to cooperate. Convince him otherwise. Oh man, it's time for some sneaking. So, basically, whenever you want to sneak, just crouch. Don't, don't ever stand up in this game, because it's not a good idea. Just crouch, and then tilt the stick just a tiny bit, and you'll sneak. And then you'll win Splinter Cell. So if we get behind people, we can grab them. Hi there. Hi. You're not going easy on me, are you? Uh, not so tight. That hurts. Sorry about that. What's the door code? Two eight four six nine. It was a pleasure working with you. Likewise. So you need to remember passcodes. You need to actually remember what they are. Because the game does not remind you what they are. Also, I like that when you grab people in this game, you hear Sam cock a gun and then holster a gun, even though we don't actually have one right now. This next door is retinal scanner locked. These things are cheap and near impossible to hack. Fortunately, it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner. Usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. So retinal scanners, of which there are hundreds in this game, um, they're really easy to use. You just gotta find the right dude and put his face in it. And the right dude is this man. I just cocked that invisible gun. Always be a last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your opsat. If the meter's at four, you're lit up like a Dutch brothel. At zero, you're a ghost's shadow. So the stealth meter is above that rectangle in the right corner. Left is good, right is bad. And there's a camera. Cameras are very loud. So Sam's gun. Um, it's an FN57, and it's absolute dog shit. This gun is terrible. Um, 
it, it's just it's garbage. The ac the accuracy is just awful. Like you really gotta wait for that aim to stabilize, and even then, uh, yeah, <laughs> yep, not um, not a very good weapon. Y you should use it as little as possible because it's terrible. So we got night vision goggles, and we are completely hidden right now. So the thing about cameras is that they don't have any kind of mics on them, so they don't hear you. This is important, so you can just run past them at full speed if you need to. Also, this camera, this like black rectangular camera, is bulletproof. Just keep that in mind. Some cameras are more fragile. All you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them. So we just gotta pop this camera. Fortunately, the non-bulletproof cameras are a lot more common. You'd think they wouldn't be. You'd think that if you could have a camera that you couldn't shoot out with a crappy gun, and then one you could, you go for the ones you couldn't. It seems like it be a be smarter way to go. Whatever. It's a video game, you guys. Sometimes the only way to pass a camera will be to stick to existing shadows and time your hands. So the thing about cameras is that if a camera sees you, it will not immediately spot you. It has to kind of like zoom in on you or focus on you. So you do have some time to get out of sight. The cameras do not hear you. This is very important to keep this in mind. Don't have to be quiet around cameras. Knock out the guard in the corridor and hide his body before the patrolling guard finds it. So knocking dudes out, just get it behind them and press R1. And it needs to be behind if you're dealing with a guard. If you try to get a guard from the front, you gotta hit him twice. And that usually won't end too well for Sam, because Sam is pretty fragile. Now, if you're dealing with a civilian, then you only have to hit them one time. It does not matter if it's from behind or the side or front. Just hit them and they're down. Okay, now, Fisher, let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. But how do I tell the difference if someone is a civilian or a guard? Well, that's a good question. Because this guy that's coming right now is a civilian. And civilians walk like this. Kind of hunched over, kind of, you know, kind of not, you know, not the greatest posture in the world. Those guys are civilians. Guards do not walk like that at all. None of them. So that's how you can tell. Also, they usually don't have any guns. It's another way to tell. Good work, Sam. Remember that discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. So, hey, this is a stealth game, so you should probably play it like a stealth game. Don't, don't go shooting dudes and being crazy. The next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. It's just making sure you understand to only tilt the stick a tiny bit. So we can move a little faster depending on what you're walking on. This is like a grating, so it's, it's a no-go. But carpets are a different story. You can go a little quickly on carpets. This is pretty easy to do. Have you started yet? Fisher! Holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. That's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. 
He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. All right, we did it. Off-center mission complete. Hell yeah. This is a good port. It's fantastic. Spared no expense. I mean, if you fail a mission, they didn't screw that up, so, you know. So that's the tutorial mission. Do a real mission next time. <laughs>